Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Royal Rumble predictions and review. So ladies and gentlemen there's a few things we need to get across. Number one, there won't be a continuation of the uh, In Your House storyline uh, to be fair guys. Um, we'll be doing just um, Great, uh, Great White North which is going to be uh, Wednesday's episode and then that's going to be it for a little bit. Um, I don't think you guys are really interested in doing a uh, thing like that, so I won't do it. Um, so it'll be back to regularly scheduled random pay-per-views from the week after this week. Um, number two, it's Saturday, and I know that it um, looks a bit weird, but I'm not actually downstairs doing the predictions uh, on it's Saturday night at this moment in time. Um, Boss is not well. Um, I do apologise. Uh, she was actually kind of looking forward to being on the video, um, but she's just not well. So I've got the predictions here. We will go through them in just a moment. Um, but yeah, so um, here we go. So Oscar and Charlotte versus Nia and Shayna Baszler. Boss went for Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. I've gone for Oscar and Charlotte Flair. Next up, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. Uh, the boss has gone for Kevin Owens. I've gone for Roman Reigns. Drew versus Goldberg. We've both gone for Drew. And I'm going to do an extra video this week explaining my feelings about this match. Because I am not looking forward to this match coming up. So, yeah. Next up, uh, Sasha Banks versus Carmella. Uh, Boss had Carmella, I have Sasha Banks. And the Royal Rumble matches, uh, the boss had Alexa Bliss, I have Charlotte Flair. And the boss has uh, Strowman, I have AJ Styles. So we will be back in a moment for Royal Rumble 2021. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that, give me a minute, there we go. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Royal Rumble 2021. So we're going to kick things off with Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax versus Oscar and Charlotte Flair. So we just had Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax versus Oscar and Charlotte Flair. And oh my god. Okay match until the end. Lacey comes out and it's just like, I'm going to ruin this match. Match was okay, but this was terrible. It was awful that she just gets involved. And Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax win after Lacey knocks out Charlotte with fast knuckles and Nia gets a leg drop. Yay. So, uh, Boss is 1-0 up on the predictions. So, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler won. So, the Boss is 1-0 up. So, next up is Dlu versus Oldberg. Let's watch this match. Fuck me like Drew win. So we just had Delu versus Goldberg, and yes, Delu retained the title, so we're at 1-1. One, one. Uh, 2-1, sorry. Yes, 2-1, I do apologise. Um, oh, I'm not, oh, I was not looking forward to this match. Fan fuck, it was quick. It was a quick match. Fan fuck for that. It was basically, uh, Spear, Spear, Claymore, Claymore, Spear, Jackhammer, Jackhammer, Claymore, 1, 2, 3. It was as quick as it could be. Thank God. Drew wins with the Claymore. Show of respect. Match is over. Next up, it's Sasha Banks versus Carmella. So, let's get to that match. And we just had Carmella versus Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks wins with the Banks statement. Making it two apiece for myself and the boss. So, yeah. Very entertaining. Very good. Uh, good match. These two, you know, Carmella's improved a lot in ring. So, I wasn't really scared about this match, it was a really good rematch and with you know, with whoever's going to win the Rumble it could open up a lot of possibilities so, speaking of which let's watch the Royal Rumble I believe it's either going to be the women's or men's which is, obviously, so let's find out Ladies and gentlemen the women's Royal Rumble has just happened and oh boy what a surprise so, let's go through the uh, picks so, number one was Bailey. Number two was a returning Naomi. I love Naomi in the ring, so that was very entertaining. Third was Bianca Belair. Fourth was Billy Kay. Fifth was Shotzi Blackheart, who was the surprise entrant. Shayna Baszler was number six. Tony Storm making a return uh, to the main roster for the Rumble was number seven. 
bajillion fucking hole was eight. Ugh, I, I hate Jillian Hall. Just a rip off of Britney cocking spears. Fuck off. Ruby we'll Wright was number nine. Fun fuck. Uh, Victoria making a return was number ten. Peyton Royce was number eleven. Santana Garnett was number uh, twelve. If you don't know who she is, she was Britney in TNA for a little bit. Uh, Liv Morgan was 13, Rhea Ripley was 14, my pick, Charlotte Flair was 15, uh oh. Dana Brooke was 16, Tori Wilson making a, a return was 17, Lacey Evans was 18, Mickey James was 19, nice surprise. Nikki Cross was 20, Alicia Fox made a return, 21, Mandy Rose was 22, Dakota Kai was 23, another surprise. Another surprise was Carmella at 24. That was surprising. I was surprised that Carmella made a return, uh, made it for the Rumble. But even though she did lose her match, she could, she was eligible for the Rumble, so that's okay. Uh, Tamina was 25. Lana was 26, making her return to the ring. Alexa Bliss was 28, Mum's pick. Ember Moon was the last surprise entrant at 28. Nia Jax was 29, and Nat Natalia was 20, uh, was number 30. Which already was there because of uh, a match between her and Tamina. So uh, also uh, just during the match, during the match uh, we have a new we had a new 24/7 champion in Alicia Fox. Holy shit! She pinned our truth in the middle of the win when he came out, which was entertaining. And then our truth beat uh, Alicia Fox to uh, to win back the belt. The belt, uh, the title reign lasts in two minutes and five seconds. I think that's the lowest or the shortest reign for a women's championship for the 24/7 title in history. I think could be wrong on that one. But yeah, the 12 surprise ent entrances. But who was eliminated? So here we go. Number one, Shotzi, uh, Sh Shotzi Blackheart. Oh, why were you eliminated first? That sucks. Number two. Jillian Hall. Yay! Fuck you, Jillian Hall. Hate you. Number three, Billy Kay. Boo. Number four, Tony Storm. Ah, uh, bollocks. Number five, Victoria. Ah, uh, shit. Number six, Garnet. Uh, Santana Garnet. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's a surprise. Number seven, Ruby Riot. Eh. Uh, number eight, Liv Morgan. Double eh. Uh. Number nine, Dana Block. Eh, uh, she was entertaining. Number 10, Peyton Royce. So yeah, wasn't happy, but pissed off. Number 11, Tori Wilson. Eh, really thought that wasn't deserved. 12, number 12 was Bailey. Holy shit. Number 13, Alicia Fox. Ha ha, ha, ha ha. Number 14, Mickey James. Meh. Number 15, Dakota Kai. Shit. Number 16, Mandy Rose. Mm. Number 17, Nikki Cross. Boo. Number 18, Carmella. Ha ha, you got put on your um, uh, manager's uh, arms and then he dropped you. Ha ha. Uh, number 19, Alexa Bliss. Ha ha, you nearly went psycho and uh, rear, rear rip before you over. Ha ha. Uh, so mum's elimination was out. Number 20, Lacey Evans. Ha ha, go stuff with Fred's dick. <laughs> number 21, Ember Moon. Boo. Number 22, Naomi. Fucking good effort by Naomi. Really impressed by her. Number 23, holy shit! Well, that was fucking manslaughter. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, where was I? Yes, number 23, uh, uh, Tamina, again. Uh, 24 was Shayna Baszler. 25 was Nia Jax. 26, Lana. 27, Natalia. 28, Charlotte Flair. Shit. Number 29, Rhea Ripley. And your winner, Bianca Belair! This was a very entertaining matchup. This was really, really good, I thought. Um, great pacing. The old guard didn't really stay in there too long by Gillian Hall. Just fuck off Gillian Hall. I hate Gillian Hall. Um, but, you know, they didn't spend uh, they didn't spend too long in there. Again, by Gillian. But, again, it was just shit. Um, and Bianca winning. And Charlotte Fair not winning. Which sucks. So, um, the predictions... So, again, Mum had Alexa Bliss, I had Charlotte, and, yeah, so if we went by longest tenure in the Rumble, 
technically speaking, Charlotte Flair would win because she was uh, and she entered first, and Alexa Bliss was out first technically. But uh, neither of us won because we didn't pick Bianca Belair, so uh, it's still two two. So let's get to Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. Holy shit! Kevin Owens just got run over by a fucking zam uh, by a fucking golf cart. What the fuck? Just. Jesus fucking Christ! So I'm just what I'm watch. I was watching the Royal Rumble because the video fucking stopped on me again. So I'm just watching the match, and all of a sudden, Kevin Owens just fell from two tables, uh, you know, from about maybe a twenty foot drop, and just goes through tables. And then all of a sudden, Roman Reigns just hits a go grabs a golf cart and just rams it into Ro uh, Kevin Owens. That is vehicular homicide if he wasn't if he didn't survive. Holy shit! Uh, the match is still going on as we speak, um, and Kevin Owens has just popped up, powerbombed uh, Roman Reigns onto a table. Holy shit, that didn't fucking break. Fuck me. Um, and Kevin Owens is about to do a frog splash onto Kevin? Onto Roman, I think? Yep. Oh, there we go, and it breaks. So we'll see who wins this match, so we'll get back to it. Kevin Owens just grabbed the forklift truck, raised it up, and just did a swan tom bomb. Off the fucker, through two tables, onto Roman Reigns. Fuck me, Kevin Owens is gonna die early if he doesn't do the, if he doesn't stop doing this shit. Fuck me. Gets run over by a golf cart, which might be inspired by AEW, who knows? But fucking hell, these two are just battering the piss into each other, and I have to admit, I'm fucking loving it. This is a great match. Kev, oh god, oh. Roman's busted open, holy shit. Fucking hell. Uh, also, uh, Becky Lynch is uh, backstage at the show because the curtains are the exact same as the picture she took earlier in the show. Uh, earlier on in the night, so she's backstage to support Seth Rollins. Which is awesome. But, fucking hell, this match. Just fuck me, this match is insane. Uh, I'll carry on watching it and we'll get to the end and uh, we'll explain what happened afterwards. So, let's do it. So I just had Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens in a last man standing match. Uh, this was very entertaining until the bloody ending. So referee, uh, so Kevin Owens managing, uh, Roman Reigns brings out the handcuffs. Kevin Owens uh, gets him with the writing uh, to the lighting rig, and referee gets to nine. Roman grabs him, rams him into the bloody metal bar, which must have fucking hurt. Paul Heyman comes out and spends a good like minute and a half, two minutes trying to get him unlocked. By the count, by the end of it, the ref, uh, new referee comes out, gets to six, stops the count, which is bullshit. He should have got, he should have carried on. Get to ten, and Kevin Owens would be the winner, but obviously, you know, not happens. Uh, and then uh, they finally get him unlocked. Guillotine. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roman Reigns is the winner, and I am 3-2 up on the challenge, so 3-2 up. Mum can get it back, 3-3, free free, if Strowman wins the Rumble, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our main event, the Men's Royal Rumble. Look forward to this one. Uh, we already know who entrant, I think we know who, well, we already know who entrant 1 and 2 is. I don't. So, this is going to be awesome. So, let's find out who Entrant 1 and 2 are going to be for the Men's Royal Rumble. Let's do it. Edge is number 1. What? What? Did... Did Edge... Ed, did Edge announce his return? I have no fucking idea. What? Okay, we've got Edge. Edge is in the Rumble. Holy shit. He's number one. But fuck it, I don't care. Edge is in the Rumble. Fuck yes. Who's going to be number two? Let's find out. Okay, Edge is first. Randy Orton second and we're getting into a fight already. Oh my god, this is going to be fucking awesome. Let's watch this Rumble. Fuck yes. We'll say this as well before we get uh, carry on with the Rumble. Edge is looking good. Like, I think he's under 50, but... Fuck me, he's looking good for he's looking good for nearly fifty years of age. Holy shit. I'm shocked that Edge is in the rumble, to be honest with you guys. I'm fucking shocked. 
Um, so far, it's been about two minutes. Uh, and yeah, we're not doing the number yet. So this is bullshit. So yeah, we do that one anyway. Also, wasn't Edge, wasn't Orton burnt? Doesn't look like he's burnt. Also, we got the next entrance, so I will catch you at the end of the rumble. Bye! So, we're just at the ninth entrance, guys. I do apologise. This will hopefully be the last one that I do before the end of the rumble. But, uh, Randy Orton's been taken to the back with a knee injury, apparently. Uh, Edge put, uh, did the execution onto a uh, onto the announce table and then whacked a steel chair into his leg. I'm calling it now. Randy comes back, wins the rumble, ties Austin. I'm calling it now. First was Edge, second was Randy Orton, third was Sami Zayn, fourth was Mustafa Ali, fifth was Jeff Hardy, fourth, sixth was Dolph Ziggler, seventh was Shinsuke Nakamura, eighth was Carlito, surprise entrant, that's awesome, ninth was Xavier Woods, tenth was Big E, eleventh was John Morrison, twelfth was Ricochet, Elias was thirteenth, Damian Priest, surprise entrant, fourteenth, Miz, Matt Riddle, Daniel Bryan, Kane, surprise entrant, Baron Corbin, Otis, Dominic Mysterio, Bobby Lashley, Hurricane, surprise entrance, Christian, surprise entrance, yay! AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio, Sheamus, Cesaro, Seth Rollins, surprise return, <coughs> Braun Strowman. <coughs> First eliminated was Jeff Hardy, then Sami Zayn, then Xavier Woods, then Mustafa Ali, then Carlito, uh, really want to see him back actually. Elias, Miz, Morrison, Ziggler, Ricochet, Kane, Nakamura, Otis, Ken Corbin, Mysterio, Dominic, Priest, Hurricane, Bobby Lashley, Big E, Rey Mysterio, Sheamus, AJ Styles, Cesaro, Daniel Bryan, Riddle, want to see those two in a wrestling match, fuck yes, Braun Strowman was out next, then Christian, then Seth Rollins, Randy Orton came back, I called it, Randy Orton came back, tried to eliminate Edge, and Edge is your Royal Rumble winner. Holy shit. Edge went from one and won the whole thing. And to be honest, fuck me, he put in a performance. That was a bloody good performance from Edge. And everybody involved. Holy shit. This was a good match. So, some numbers for you for the end of it. The third shortest time, number three, is the on average the shortest time ever in the rumble so whoever draws number three has the shortest time in the rumble up until this point there was five surprise entrances in the room in the men's rumble 12 in the women's rumble so that's 17 in total so about close to nearly a third of the entrances were surprise entrances that's awesome uh Ziggler with the second most in history uh just behind kane uh, Bad Bunny comes out after his performance uh, before the Women's Rumble, I think it was. Um, it was an okay music performance, I forgot to add it on at the end, I do apologise. Then Hurricane with the shortest time in the Rumble for this year at 30 seconds. And again, 17 surprise entrances in total. So, what did I think of the Rumble? Oh, and by the way, uh, we... Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. One moment, I'm actually on a video. One sec. Ladies and gentlemen, making a surprise appearance on the phone. Ryan Atkinson, how are you doing, buddy? What up, bro? I am doing very well. Please, you are live on Channel 4. Please don't swear. Please don't collect £200. What did you think of the rumble? Mate, honestly. Yeah, honestly. And again, you're on live on Channel 4. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, Bianca Belair winning the Rumble, uh, that was a surprise. Gillian Hall. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I hate, I no. fucking despise her. I think she's fucking shite. Um, oh, the brutal match that I saw was the uh, last man standing. Oh yeah, that was brutal as fuck. But Edge winning the Rumble from number one, that was a shocker. Oh yeah, that was a shocker. Like, holy shit, it's Christian. Yay! I, I actually want to see him in a match at Mania. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Edge, Edge and Christian are for their tag team, for the tag team title. 
No, obviously Edge in a title match. But who does he face? Does he face Reigns or Dulu? Again. Or Balor? Again. It could go for the tag team titles as well. He has the choice. True, he does have the choice for any title. Uh, what was your match of the night? I'd have to say my match of the night was Reigns and Owens. It had to be. Oh. Through both hell. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. Reigns and Owens was match of the night. Least favourite match? Least favourite match? Uh, I wouldn't say it's not my, my least favourite match, but the first match, um, Goldberg and McIntyre, it was over too quick. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it went too fucking long. But no, worst match? Oscar, Flair, Shayna, Nia. Yeah, I have to agree with that one. That was... It wasn't awful. It was just the ending was awful. Well, I don't even know what Rick Flair gave him, uh, Lacey Evans? No, uh, Brass Knuckles. It didn't look like it. It was. It was Brass Knuckles. You could tell there were knocks. Well, you yeah. Just tell that. It was just tap It was something, but anyway, yeah, that sucked. But yeah, great rumble. Actually, to be honest... I'm happy cooler heads prevail because what I thought was Goldberg enters the Rumble, wins the Rumble, and then challenges Reigns at Mania. Well, my favourite surprise entrance was obviously coming back. I have to admit that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go check. Uh, yeah, favourite Your favourite was Christian from the men's. Yeah, go on. You know me. You know who my team's top top. Top tag were. Oh yeah, Edge and Christian, Hardy Boys. Exactly. Yeah. I just see Christian come back, it brought chills to me. Oh yeah, it was amazing. And Fav the reunion in the ring, it was just like Oh amazing. yeah, it was awesome. What uh, What was your favourite female entrance in the Rumble? Surprise entrance. Uh, I'd have to say Ember Moon. Really? I... Yeah. Personally, I would have had to go for Gillian Hall. Uh, I don't know Gillian that well. Oh, she's shite. No, I'm fucking with you. Um, I I will have to go for Tony Storm. I love Tony Storm. I think she's awesome. My favorite, my favorite person that ends, my favorite surprise entrance was Ember Moon. Yeah, mine mine was Tony Storm. Least favorite, Gillian my Hall. Favorite Shayna Baszler. Oh. Nah, Rhea. Oh, Rhea Ripley. Yeah. Yeah. She was fucking brutal. Yeah, that was dope, dope as shit. Right, I'm gonna finish my. Vi I'm gonna finish this video, uh, Ryan, and I will talk to you in just a moment. One sec. So, what did I think of the Rumble? Well, it was a very good show, very entertaining, and at the end of it, yeah, great way to start the road to WrestleMania. Great way to actually kick off the year. Pardon, Ryan? Don't forget that I, was, I, I told you at the end of that so, so that was not my favourite as well. Yes, and Ryan, Ryan's just uh, called in to say here we are with his picks for the matches. Like I say, best match of the night had to be the uh, last man standing match. Least favourite just because of the ending was the pre-show match. But overall, very good way to open up the year for WWE in 2020. We have New Year's Bash coming up on Wednesday, uh, not New Year's Bash, New, uh, Beach Blast coming up for AEW next week. I don't think that's going to top a uh, Rumble. I think it's going to be good, but it's not going to top the Rumble. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I will see you on Wednesday for Beach Blast, and I will see you as well on Wednesday for the AEW, well, for the CWS. Pip pip, cheerio, wear a mask, keep a smile on your face. And aim for the sky, guys. I will see you on Wednesday.